Okay, here we are back in Sense. In the last video, we, uh... Got a new sword. And now we're good to move on to the next floor. We've been told that things have been unleashed. Why does this throw me in the middle of the room? Is it just because I'm holding the button while it's loading? Four oh one is where we came from. It's locked. My stamina is not being consumed, so there's no spirit, I guess. Stuck on the third floor, unless I can find what's blocking, I probably won't be able to fix it. Sounds like a body. Stairwell is still jammed. Looks like hair. Apartment 403, the door is unlocked. So I believe this is a death trap. Ew. That collapse nearly destroyed the floor here. It seems that the ceiling above fell out years ago. Looks like the remaining floorboards will support my weight fine, though. So I'm looking for the red light. Set a trap like that, and why? Need to keep an eye out from now on. Besides the hair, the door doesn't seem to want to open. The door now feels broken. Whatever the stuff is, it's making it difficult to see down the hall. Now that I know there are traps around, I need to be careful. I should take a picture to check for more. It's still too dark for me to see any traps. What was that? Another spirit? Is that a tripwire? There's an odd arrangement of hair behind it. I should find something to trigger this trap from a distance with. Do I not have it? Use the ball. Let's try this. Hopefully I don't miss. You throw like a girl. is actually moving. I can feel airflow from inside, but the hair covering it is too thick. Mm. Maybe I can cut the hair with something. Mm. Elevator call button isn't working on this floor either. Let's try this key. This door is locked, but I can't push it open. It may be blocked by something on the inside. Japanese? Mariko? She must have set the traps. Pile of mail. Most of them are nasty hate mail, calling Mariko a liar, or worse. She must have been a local gossip. This last one, though. You effing leech. Father Yip investing in a used and tossed aside whore like he was a joke. It will come back to bite him sooner or later. There's a strange and thick strand of hair that's blocking off the kitchen. Maybe I can find something to cut it from a distance. I don't want to risk triggering another trap. The last note I can see is from Sally. Hey babe, my client loved my hair last weekend. Can't wait to see what you do tomorrow. By the way, convince Lamp Post to come to movie night this week. He's always too shy to talk to me, but he will listen to you, Sally. Right now, unfortunately, the sun is setting, so it's shining right in my eyes. I can barely see. Desk is covered in business documents and tax forms. There's also several files from a Takamine Law Associates. They all reference a divorce, but the only name I can see is Mariko Okuda. Nothing else is particularly interesting, but the filing cabinet has one drawer exposed. There's an offering cup and an open envelope with a letter out on the table. Mariko, I'm more than happy to invest in your business. You have done well for yourself, even through such difficulty over the last two years. I've always seen great potential in you to be a leader in our district. I'm very proud of you. I hope you enjoy this gift. It belonged to my mother. If there's anything else I can do for you, please come see me. Yip Wai Hong.
There's an ornate hairpin with a spider lily motif on the floor. There's a rice paper divider here, but the hairs keep me from moving it. I'll need to cut the hair to move the divider. So I'm wondering, do I need to go down to the salon in order to uh, find something to cut it with? Doors jam probably by hair, but most this is most likely the bathroom anyway. An Okiku doll. These things creep me out, even though I collect hollow resin figures. Old dolls are just terrifying. There's also some jaw sticks here. The door is covered in an intricate pattern of hair strands. I have a feeling that this is a trap. I can probably cut the straps in a certain order to safely disarm the trap. Like, worst case scenario, we may have to exercise that spirit before we can actually, you know, do anything on this floor. Which would suck. Certificates and degrees. Dr. Lai Guok Jong looks to have been a surgeon at Seattle Hope Hospital. An old doctor's coat. There seems to be an ID card attached to it. Dr. Lai Guok Jong. Looks, there looks to be a makeshift magnetic strip attached to the back. Why would he add a second strip? There are odd marks to the right of the wardrobe. I think this thing was frequently slid out of the way. steel door. There's a pin pad with a card reader. I probably need to slide an ID card to use it. We'll worry about that in a moment. The nightstand here has some junk on it and the light isn't working. There's also a journal here. Mostly details daily life as a surgeon, though some of the entries are a bit creepy in tone. I'll save this in my PDA for later. I want to finish exploring this room before we go in. Okay, I'm writing this down. Three, one, six, seven, two, four. The shelves very clearly missing a book based on the numbers written across the spine. This could be a code for something in this apartment. Uh. Oh god, the sink is full of something. Mm. There's something floating in the gunk. It's going to be important, I just know it. Well, there's no way I'm sticking my hand in there. There's gotta be some kind of spoon or something around here somewhere. There's an official notice from Seattle Hope Hospital to all employees. Notice to all surgical staff, we will be implementing new security protocols for morgue access on August 27th. Due to the recent theft of cadavers and cadaver organs, we are asking that all staff report any and all information they may have regarding these horrific crimes to our security team. No one found to be withholding crucial evidence in these cases will be terminated. Someone was stealing bodies from the hospital morgue? That happens all the time now, but I didn't think things were so messed up back then. Enter bathroom. Hold on a second. I haven't found any ghost pictures here, so I'm looking around for there's no triggers. Of course he was one of these monstrosities. Oh. A desk full of medical documents and files. The drawer has a strange indentation with an emblem on it. I don't recognize the symbol, but it looks like a kanji I'm unfamiliar with. Mm. The odd indentation looks almost like a button, but I can't push it with my finger. I probably need some kind of unique key that matches the kanji. It's a bit too dark to see what the x-ray is of, but I can see something that's been marked with a red pen. An old light board with x-ray photos attached. I wonder if it still works. Let's give it a shot. Works! Three x-rays put up have numbers highlighted. There's also a space where another x-ray was hung at some point. I wonder if I can find somewhere around here. Seriously, it was right there. The sucker probably just fell off. Interesting. There's a matching seven number serial code on, which, on each of the x-rays, but only four numbers are highlighted. So let's see. Seven, four, one, three, five, two, six. And one of the five didn't appear. Two, six. And of these, the purple ones are 7152. A 
the bathroom. No odd smells, but I might be able to find something useful inside. Come on. Tell me we can do this. I'm going to save this for last, because I am freaking giddy here. <laughs> please, game, please. Sink looks incredibly clean despite years of decay. Oh, a pair of latex gloves. They appear to be medical grade. Perfect for protection from all kinds of bacteria. But anyway, the stamp... Aw, oh, man, we can't do it. The toilet had my hopes up, man. And the game just brought me crashing back to reality. There's even a tear in my eye. Uh. It's a surprisingly clean shower, but there's a strong smell of ammonia coming from it. Don't hit it with bleach. Anyway, what ran? So if you notice, the one thing is over there now. I fear we could use the gloves, but I guess not. Need to figure out the code. It seems to be four numbers, so that would be the 7152. Denied. That wasn't the right code. Hmm. Eight, three, four, one? <laughs> oh well. Too sure about that one then. So I think we've done everything we can on this floor, haven't we? Pin. Let's take a look. Same spiral lily pattern on an antique comb. Read note. This letter on top of the box's contents. Mariko, I pray you can forgive me and your father someday. I never wanted this to be our fate, but you know how important the Okuda name is. Your father will never see past that responsibility. Please accept this gift and never forget that I will never stop loving you as my only daughter, mother. There's a fancy pair of scissors carefully placed in silk. They look like hairstylist shears. Seven one five two. We're also looking for a sequence of hairs to cut. I don't think there was anything for me to cut in the doctor's room. Unless we can cut open the dummy. Simple way up to the next floor. Why do we want to go to the next floor? So we need like a throwing knife or something, I guess? I don't remember what that thing over there is. take the risk. Since I don't want to repeat a lot of crap, we might get a cool death scene. Aw, oh, man. 
Looks like the kimono that Mariko wore in the pictures must have been very important to her. An ornate kimono truck. Something cut my leg. She's toying with me. Of course, the door doesn't feel locked. More like the bar is stuck. Maybe I can find a way to destroy the whole lock. Positive, this is the way up. There's gotta be something around here that can break through the lock. Um. Ornate comb. Any sort of reaction there? supposed to find... Okay, we're supposed to find the book. They won't let me use the gloves for that. to go tear up the lower floors, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Nothing over there. I guess it's possible that the little spooks, whatever they're called, Gakis. They may have uh, something for us if we cut them down. Mm. Seriously? Okay, I gotta do this. Do not judge me. Mm. She's fine. Another little duct tape and WD-40 can't fix. I want to make sure that there's nothing else in here, but interestingly enough, that actually did remove the glitch stamina gauge. <laughs> Should have done that sooner. But yeah, third floor, that's going to be at least 20 feet up.
Unless, do they do a ground floor type thing which screws up all the numbering, or...? if he gives hints or something. Dude, I screwed up. Can you help? On an unrelated note, I cannot fly. Just putting that out there. Maybe an important detail later. Just saying. I still have that marked. I don't think there was anything else out here. I'm really tempted to just put a break in the video and come back when I have a freaking clue. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, I went around the building twice trying to find something. I couldn't find a clue to this. I couldn't find that missing book, which will give you the correct code. I know what the code is, but I want to do it without the book. I don't know how to uh, get that thing out of the sink. I thought the gloves would do it, but apparently they don't. Anyway, top left. Right. Bottom left. Mm -hmm. And top right. That this room better have something useful. A geisha doll wearing a kimono matching Mariko's. Another Betamax player on TV with the Betamax tape. I can record my progress. Can't carry any more bangles. A Japanese funerary shrine. Dad had a huge one in his office for his war buddies. I should make an offering when I find out what Mariko needs. There's a drop ceiling. Something hang something's hanging out of it. It's a storage box full of random stuff. Most of it looks like business documents and files. There's also part of a photo of an older Japanese man. There's also a letter from Takimine Law Associates regarding a divorce. Ooh. A kunai? Why does she have something like this, much less than a box hidden in this closet? I know it's taboo to take things from a building like this, but even though the blade's dull, a knife like this is pretty useful. So, if you don't remember, we needed a throwing knife in order to deal with the hair. I think there's more hair on that doll than there used to be. Oh, it turned around. No, it did grow more hair. Doll's hair has grown. Something looks to be caught in the hair. Maybe I can cut it free. It's a small key wrapped in a piece of photograph. So that's for the kimono trunk, I imagine. A photo of a Japanese couple at their wedding. The back says Mafuyu and Mariko Takamine. There's something else here, too. A Betamax tape with a note attached? This should help you counter the demands from that bastard and his family. Wonder what's on the tape? So we need to go downstairs for that, I imagine. Okay, let's do this. Net Diver May time. Got it. Okay, let's take a look. A noodle strainer's perfect for pulling that thing out of the sink in Dr. Lai's apartment. Maybe a good idea to hang on to this just in case. The kunai? Yeah. They say it's a Betamax tape, but... Are we able to use it here, I wonder? Ah, we can. Maybe this tape will give me some answers. 
That looks like the man in the wedding photo, but the woman's definitely not Mariko. So if we examine it... Oh, we can't. Is it in the journal, then? So... Kudalar, divorce document... Uh, um... Okay, it said something updated. If we go to the... Yeah, I don't know what updated. Maybe they just spent inventory update as in it's no longer in my inventory? It's hair? Doors jammed shut with hair. Yes. So I lost my bracelets for this crap. So let's take the kimono, something fell from the sleeve, piece of a photo. And I wonder if Mariko intended to put away any of the kimonos before. I'll need to unlock it first. Lock seems somewhere in the storage room. A down normal key opens it. It's empty. Based on what I saw, Mariko just wants what was precious to her carefully put away. So we'll put the kimono there, the hairpin, and the shears. Lock it. There, it's not much, but I hope it lets you rest. <laughs> So is that it? Her family is split apart over something so ridiculous. She lost everything, and for it to all end like this. Hope this helps in some way. Mariko, I'm so sorry. Please rest now. I think there's still one more thing I can do for her. Hmm. Apparently it's not in this room, whatever it is. So yeah, I don't really know how you're even supposed to find the combination of that room. It's also important to note that all the stupid hair is still here. Okay, we can use the noodle strainer in the docks room. Seal. Okay, there's
There's a file that open that looks like some kind of dossier on several men. All four of them have tattoos have back tattoos of dragons. It's also a fancy medical textbook that's something written on the spine. I think that's everything the desk has to offer. Book. Several places to go and mark it on the spine seems to belong somewhere. How do we look at it? Okay, let's actually examine the book. A large number. It's the number five that I can see you etched onto it. I don't know. Perfect. Okay, so if we look at the numbers we were given, 7, 1, 5, and 2, the actual number is 1, 5, 7, 2. frames hanging from the ceiling. A light switch? Looks like human skin framed in some kind of resin or plexiglass. That tattoo is of a black dragon. It's very similar to the others in this room. Another jade bangle. So I definitely like the meat hooks. Gives the nut room a nice little accent. Table's covered in dried blood, and this feels like the best place to do the exorcism. This room is clearly the spirit's connecting point. Just need to burn something of Dr. Lies in effigy. Uh, no! Uh, no! I'll have to come back. Maybe I can stall him somewhere outside the apartment. <laughs> Stay away! How do you get out of the room? Maybe you had to sacrifice the bangle? Looks like the coast is clear thanks to the warding foo. So the elevator I don't think even worked before. And we have the uh, glitch again. <laughs> uh, we need to go jump out the window, I guess. Oh, right, we need to burn some of his. The tattoo depicts a dragon entangling a tiger. They don't appear to be fighting. I don't even know what the effigy is. I did it! I doubt tonight will get any easier from here on out. I shouldn't celebrate yet. Dr. Lies, Trill, I can use this to open the stairwell door on the far end of the hall. So we used a food, it looks like. Hmm. 
was there anything of his that you could have used? Now that I think about it, we have the music playing door over here. I kinda wonder if you ran this way, could you throw him down the elevator shaft or something? Nothing to interact with. use the two for there, but I'm guessing maybe we burned his ID or something? Because that would be the only thing in his inven in the inventory of his we had that we didn't use. Unless we threw it away when we opened the door for some reason. I don't know. Got it. Let's see what's up there. Offering cup and jaw sticks. Still no luck. Maybe the flash of my camera will scare them away. Nope. Oh, we hit the checkpoint. There are feral cats seemingly guarding the door. I should be careful not to upset them. Oh, let's do it. So we want to go to the autosave. Just a bathroom. Or is it? Maybe that's what the game wants us to think. A few business cards from local plastic surgeons and a bunch of notes with dates and names written on them. Only one note stands out. It's a list of different herbs and roots with numbers next to them. A large medicine cabinet. Only a few of the drawers are labeled. The cupboard is locked with some kind of mechanism. Let's check the drawers. Ah, the drawers are actually buttons? Maybe there's a sequence that will unlock the cabinet. So let's look at that journal entry we just got. Hmm. I don't think we're supposed to open this yet. There's a steel kettle on the table along with a very nice tea set. Mm. A dream board. It's covered in images of erotic models. Most of them seem to have co have had cosmetic surgery. There are various handwritten notes like this shape and this size. And there are a few bottles of painkillers. This one must have gotten some work done. Amazing that it's gotten so much easier and common these days. Even Micah wants a few wants to make a few adjustments. The only thing stopping her from being able to borrow my tops is her fear of the doctor. The bookshelf is filled with fashion magazines, erotica, and books on herbal medicine. There are also some highly collectible Ami dolls. These are probably worth a lot of money now. Micah used to love these things. Too bad the company recently went out of business after moving away from the objectified look that Ami had for over a hundred years. Turns out little girls who want to play with Ami dolls don't want to play with frumpy and realistic versions of Ami. It's always more into the old man's robots and computers, but still have fond memories of playing dolls with Maiko. A heart-shaped bed covered in pillows and fine silk sheets. There's a journal poking up from under the pillow. All the entries detail expensive dinners, romantic nights with clients, and her thoughts on some of her neighbors. There are numbers written at the bottom of each page. 78638. So, 78638. Photos of what I assume is the tenant of the apartment as they all appear to be taken in this room. Her body and face looks to have changed quite a bit throughout the few years marked on the photos. The wardrobe is full of long dead high end brands. 
Bellucci, Simone and Makoto, and even Charisse. These brands were expensive as hell when they were around. Even today, if you find them in thrift shops, they still cost thousands of Y creds. A makeup table. It's covered in different types of blush, lipsticks, and eyeshadows. There's even an eyeliner pencil. You know, after all this time, but that pencil still writes. It's also a seam ripper. Maybe I can... There, I can use this food to seal a spear within a vessel. This could come in handy. It's locked. Maybe I can find a key somewhere. The head came off. The massive hollow board that I saw from the third floor. Thanks to this chair now close to the board as I can cross the to apartment 501. We'll look around a bit more first. So we still have the steel kettle there. Ah, crud. It's a shame we can't whack the cat, you know? Not that we condone animal abuse of any kind. They're feral. They have a coming, man. Still no luck. Oh, right, I reloaded after the cat incident. So, I mean, why is that still there? This door does not seem to open. Doorknob feels broken. Yeah, I think the roof falling down would kind of do that. Class must have come from higher up. Is Suki really what caused it? So, yeah, the only thing left for us to do now is cross the board. So yeah, I think this may actually be a good place to put a break in the video. I kind of wanted to hit a save room first, but we'll worry about the escort and whatever else is on this floor in the next video. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.